Today we're taking a look at Ivores for Poison Ivy, Poison Oak, Poison Sumac. I was out in the timber last week looking for a place to hang my tree stand. Went out in a pair of shorts, which wasn't a good idea. And I'm left with poison all over my legs. Had a couple of nights where I wasn't able to sleep at all. And so my wife picked up some of this Ivores. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Pretty skeptical about stuff like this. But the first night I used it was the first night I got a full night of sleep. So all you're going to do is just spray it onto your poison. You can see how bad I've got it here. And it says it's a no mess. You don't have to spread it with your hand if you don't want to. I like to rub it around because I have so much poison here. But what it does is that it calms the itch. Now I will say it does not calm the itch instantly, but once this dries, the itch is gone. So you're just gonna leave it on, let it dry, and to dry up those pores. Now typically what I do is I will use a poison ivy soap or a scrub called Technu and uh, I will use that in the shower and then I will rinse off with cold water because you want to close up those pores when you get out. And then it, when I start to itch again in the middle of the day, I'll just spray it with some Ivorest and that takes care of it. I'll spray it again before I go to bed so I get a full night's sleep. And you know, I was skeptical, but now I've used three quarters of a bottle in just a couple of days here and it's doing the job for me. So if you're looking for some relief from your itch, whether it's going to be poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, or maybe you've just got some bites on you that have just been itching terribly, uh, the Ivorest may be the thing that you need to use.